Now, Hong Kong is dying a slow death. Self-censorship is now the norm. People are looking for ways to leave. Businesses want to exit, and the city has lost its special status around the world. Free speech is dead in Hong Kong. Publishers are censoring their books. Raymond Jung is a publisher in Hong Kong. In the last week, he scrambled to change the draft of a book. It is called To Freedom. Of course, he has to change it. It is a collection of essays by 50 protesters, lawyers, social workers, and people who took part in the pro-democracy protests. But now the new security law has stifled freedom of expression. They can't say those things anymore. Words like revolution are being replaced with protests. Slogans and passages that call for the freedom of Hong Kong are being deleted. This latest part, this is really about something that is affecting national security, like Hong Kong independence. The only way, the only way out, then uh, we feel that this would be too dangerous. So we simply remove this whole part. So there are some of the words that we have, uh, we must try to change because they are a little bit more dangerous now, like Guang Fu like restoring Hong Kong. This is actually one of the slogans. Uh, and then we have to change this word to like freedom or to rebuild with similar meaning. Like for revolution, actually, it would be still okay if we talk about the cultural revolution or the umbrella revolution because they are known names already. But when we try to talk about the situation in Hong Kong right now, when we call that revolution, then it will be a little bit more sensitive. So we try to change that to like simply a protest or simply the movement. So to try to play safe. Words like independence and revolution are out of the books in Hong Kong now. Do you know what else is going out of Hong Kong? Money. China's national security law has killed the golden goose called Hong Kong. A report claims that Chinese professionals want to move out of the city, and it's not just about the national security law. China is now tracking down its citizens living abroad and taxing them. They face a tax rate of 45%. Well, Hong Kong was one of the lowest taxed places in the world. They had among the lowest tax rates. That's the reason why many professionals and businesses preferred to operate from Hong Kong. But higher taxes could now force them to leave. And this is a double whammy for China. One, its tax revenue is going to go down. And two, its best minds will leave. Businesses leaving Hong Kong will also trigger a brain drain. And all of this, thanks to China's national security law. Remember, Hong Kong was vital for the Chinese economy. It was China's economic gateway to the world. It isn't anymore. China uses Hong Kong's currency, equity and debt markets to attract foreign funds. Chinese companies use Hong Kong to expand globally. A bulk of the FDI into China is channeled through the city. Last year, Chinese companies raised more than $64 billion globally. $35 billion came through Hong Kong. Chinese banks hold more assets in Hong Kong. They were valued at $1.1 trillion in 2018. All of this was possible because Hong Kong was treated differently from the rest of China. But now leading world powers are withdrawing those privileges. They will treat the city as a part of the mainland. So they're slapping sanctions, they're curbing the flow of funds, and that brings us to Donald Trump.